don't have to hurry. Oh, dude. <laughs> Impact gun, Sterling, Ruger SP-101, little shooting drill, we're going to attempt to put two rounds in each black circle, whenever you're ready Sterling. Since this is a maximum accuracy exercise, single action is preferred. Okay, that was with 38 special, correct? Yeah. Beautiful. There, that actually was uh, needs to be blackened more. Did it seem like a little uneven? It was, it was a little hard to see them. Yeah. But actually, I was aiming at the middle circle, hitting the lower circle. Really? So. Huh. But everyone says you never need adjustable sights. Maybe not. So let me try 357 and see if that does any difference. Got it. Yeah, that makes a difference. It's right on now. Well, compared to 38. Ouch. <laughs> Does it hurt? It stung a little. The trigger guard came back and hit me in the finger. Right on. All right, let me try some. Okay, Sterling, how was the recoil? Uh, hang on. Sterling, how was the recoil 38 Special versus 357 Ruger uh, SP-101? Yeah, 38 was actually very mild, easy to handle, felt good. Uh, 357 stung. It puts a hurt on you, doesn't it? Yeah, it actually kind of surprised me because I, with the shooting the 38s, holding a nice, soft, relaxed grip was fine. When I had tried to do the same thing with the 357, it, the trigger guard came back and slapped me in the finger, and that hurt. <laughs> Could you see yourself going through a box full of 100 rounds in this gun with 357 full power? Uh, not for fun. <laughs> All right, my turn. 38s are fine. 57. Painful. But then again, you know, when you go to the range, you shoot 38s. You practice. True. You can't you afford to shoot 357s. load up for defense, you load up 357s. For your friends? You, oh, for defense. I thought you said for your friends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fun to watch these 38 too. specials. <laughs> he gets on there.
Five shots to the head. 38 special. Let's go to the chest. 357 Magnum, full power. These are going to hurt. Both the shooter and the receiver. <laughs> Let me see if I can do better than that. That's not too bad. I want to get them all in the tin ring. Here comes another 357, uh, five rounds. It's not horrible. I would much rather shoot a Ruger SP-101 oh, yeah. than any one of those scandium frame Smith & Wesson's 357. Those are actually painful. They're painful. So we talk about good weight and bad weight in a nothing fancy project. If you're going to carry a subcompact 357, really there's not that many choices out there. This is one of them. And that 25 ounces or so that the SP-101 stainless steel frame weighs, it's good weight. All right, tin ring, let me see if I can do it. I think that's it. I can feel the difference in 357 back here. Oh, yeah. The shockwave is huge. For a little compact, I didn't even try max action. I mean, I, mean, I think I was going single action. I used those shots for max action, max action. But I'm pretty happy with that type of capability coming out of a gun that size. Yeah. Uh, I'll do, let's do some double action. I'll go first and you go on a different target and we'll see what we do double action 357. Okay. Okay, once again, you're going to go five rounds head, 38 special. No, this is 357. Oh, is it? Yeah. Your choice then. Go body or head, five rounds, defensive engagement, notes pre cocking the hammer. Ready? Yep. You. you don't have to hurt. Oh, dude. <laughs> Not too bad. You got three rounds in there. Hope you can see it. Wow, that was fast. Nice. Target move. Nice. Give me some more of those. Five more rounds. S. Notice Sterling's gun of choice in the store. This is a somewhat modified Glock. 17? 17. 17, baby. It's got some skateboard tape on it. Slowing it down just a little bit. Sterling of Impact Guns, one of the managers. Ruger SP-101, 101 shooting full power 357 Magnum loads on the bad guy. Whenever you're ready, Sterling. Nice. Love that. Daddy likes 357. There you go. That is combat engagement, double action, SP-101 Ruger. Freaking awesome. I got to try that. I'm going to go uh, do headshots on it. I'll do headshots. It's still filming. You just keep it rolling. Did you load it up? Yeah, ready. I love this gun. <laughs> He's dead. Awesome, awesome little gun. Ruger SP-101. Love it. What a high value defensive option that is. 
wicked. Okay, then we're going to go max accuracy. Okay. I'll use this target for the review. That turned out pretty good. For, uh, 38 special at about 5 yards. Any way you want to do it for max accuracy, Sterling. Okay. In the body, he's going. Very impressive. This is why I like to use Sterling for my shooting. An accomplished pistolero. Those are right on for you that time, dude. Yeah. Okay, go ahead on that one. 38 Special SP-101 headshots, Sterling. Nice. Oh my gosh. Still awesome though. Dude! <laughs> you got it here. You made bring me that. laugh. No, 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 that's good. <laughs> bring that sucker back. Look at this. One hole with four rounds. And you made me laugh on that one. I'll take the credit for that low <laughs> that low flyer, but that is amazing. Out of a Ruger SP 101, handheld, not benched. I bench in this gun. I like hand holding it and just doing combat style shooting. That's his group in the chest. Is that amazing or what? And like Sterling was saying just a little bit ago, this is a gun. Dude, we all save those though. Let's put another one up because that's such a good group. I don't want you to dick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Your greatness may wane on the next round, Sterling. That's all I'm saying. All right. I'll the Ruger SP-101 is just a tank. What were you saying about it, Sterling? It's a little heavy for you know, an everyday concealed carry type of gun. It's made you know, out of all stainless steel, so it's a very strong gun, so it'll take anything that you put through it. Yeah. It is a very, very strong gun. And Ruger always makes their guns that way, is to make them so they will handle anything. Hey, but those scanning frames, you can shoot those forever and ever. They'll never wear out, right? Yet to see that. <laughs> I'm being uh, facetious there. Uh, they will wear out with 357 mags. SP-11, not so much. All right, dude. 38 special SP-11. Now, now you put a nice you put a nice little L <laughs> on his head. He's a loser. <laughs> uh, I'll go right here next. Now guys watch you will go, hey, it's a it's a short range gun. You should be just stride into one hole accuracy. We know that. It's fun though. And it shows how we really want to ring out the accuracy and kind of demonstrate the accuracy of the gun. If you do your part, how accurate will the gun be? Once again, Sterling's got, Sterling's got me beat. I'm happy with it. That's good. I'll take it. Now, the benefit of shooting a silhouette like this, really big target against the sights. Uh, maybe a disadvantage is you don't have an absolute precise aiming point when you're shooting. So it's kind of placing it in the, about the same spot. So that might be why it's wandering a little bit. Although, strangely enough, Sterling didn't seem to have that problem. <laughs> okay, I did. Sterling and I just got distracted talking about the provisions of AB 962 ammo banning in California, and we're freaking pissed. 
hey, Sterling, are you so pissed you can't shoot accurately now? Yeah. That's actually a good simulation for stress. I think anger and stress are about the same thing. 357. Yeah. Sterling, look how tight your groups have become with just a couple cylinders of 357. Now that you're acclimating to the recoil. I think it surprised me on the first. Yeah, because I think you forget if you haven't shot a subcompact 357 in a while. Yeah, that's true. Outstanding work. All right, let's roll that bad boy back. Sterling in action, SP 101, full power 357, about five yards. I mean, really, that's about as good as you could ask for with a high recoiling gun. You can do that under stress, purely amazing. Uh, I can pretty much tell you, you won't do that under stress. They'll probably be about three times that big of a group, but at least they'll hit the bad guy. Nice and done, dude.